So I am making strawberry and Prosecco scones <gasps> with sparkling lemon icing. Oh! oh. Excited. You make scones? So, yes. who doesn't? Tomorrow is so lucky. Well, you know, this is just easy. It's an easy recipe, and it's okay. good. It's gratifying, okay? So, gratifying. I like putting fresh fruit in my scones just to give it a little freshness. So you're going to haul those and yeah. just kind of small dice, those fresh strawberries. Okay. In here I have some all-purpose flour in my food processor. To this I'm gonna add not a lot. So scones aren't super sweet so not a ton of sugar. Some baking powder and some salt. We're gonna zip this up just to incorporate the drive. Zippity day. Rip, rip, rip. And we all right, just like that. Are these and going in is, there? These are going in that bowl, please. Okay. We're gonna fold them in gently in a little bit. Next we are gonna do our mixture for our wets here. Fresh buttermilk. Fresh. All right. And then, this is about a, a two-thirds of a cup of buttermilk, and then we're going to do a quarter cup of that Prosecco. Which is Italian sparkling wine. Italian sparkling <laughs> water, right? Wine is <laughs> sparkling water. Well, they drink it as water. That's what I try to tell everybody. No, <laughs> no just, just sparkling, sparkling water, water, teacher. It's mineral water. Um, <laughs> so this is going to give it some effervescence, some lightness, right? And it's going to kind of help. Uh, expand these when it hits the oven. All right, our wets are ready to go. Let's go back to our dries here. Some diced, very, very cold butter. As if we're making a biscuit. This is closer to a biscuit, I believe. What am I doing with these strawberries? Is it small dice? Because I got a really no, small No, you're doing knife. really great. Oh, you're yeah? Doing, okay, keep good, it going. Good, Don't good, stop. Good. It's like right, a pie right. dough, too. You do the same thing. It just pulse just a Call, little pebbles. Because right? once that cold butter hits the, the no. warm air, it helps puffs it up more, okay? So we want to just cut this Science. into pea-sized uh, butter, butter shapes there. Butter balls? Butter balls. Little bull. Let's see. I think that looks pretty perfect, just like that. How easy was that? Super really simple. Really making a, a minimal mess here. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do, baby. Uh, <laughs> so now we got our wets. We can incorporate our dries in there, right? And this is so simple. Like, look at really not all pantry pulls. Came together. And some fresh strawberries. But strawberries, too, remind me of New Year's and celebration, yes. right? Champagne, Prosecco, strawberries. Yeah, you get my thought. Yeah, they go together perfectly, bring out very each nice. other's sweetness. And we don't want to blend this, right? We want to gently mix this. We don't want to, you know, uh, develop the glutens too much in this. And if it looks dry, it's OK. Scones are supposed to be a, a dry dough. But remember, we got the moisture from the strawberries. Oh, yeah. Just yeah, throw yeah. it in there for me. Boom. And then for a little extra sweetness, I love them. White chocolate chips. Oh, oh that's interesting. This do is it. A very Chicago of you. How is that? It's such a... <laughs> well, the jardinier. It could yeah, be that, you know, if I would have put like you know three <laughs> tablespoons of jardinier and a little pepperoni, this would have been a different. Uh, but this is it. Get I a missed this bar. as I was chopping strawberries. But is that like, hey, I had some prosecco last night. It's flat. It was on the countertop. I'm gonna make some scones. You can definitely do that. Yeah. But I think it, this recipe will be better if it's fresh, fresh open, prosecco. Okay. bubbly prosecco, because that way you can, uh, you know benefit from the carbonation. And then we can make some mimosas. We exactly. sure can. I mean, obviously. OK, so we're going to do this into a perfect circle. Oh, Jeff, okay. I didn't know you were a baker. I am. Look at that. Goldman going on over there. Here we go. So so we did some bench flour, move it around so it doesn't oh. stick. We got a parchment lined sheet pan here ready to go. We are going to cut it in half. You can and tell then, these are going to be flaky just yep. looking at that. Yeah, you then, can tell. You yeah. can tell. Yeah, yeah. And then we're going to quarter these, right? We're making eight scones. Now remember, this will. Oh, these are super rusto. I like I that. You love can that. cut those anywhere you want, right? It doesn't matter. No, you, you can, uh, you know. Circles. Circles, whatever. Get yep. the, you know, pastry uh, round cutter in there and you can do it. Whatever shape you want, but I like the traditional. We are making it dunk shape, which is you need that tapered mm -hmm. end to start the dunk. I appreciate that about you. Great. We got our oven going at dunk. 400. Okay. Fairly hot, but again, we wanted to hit that oven and start puffing up. Have you instantly. ever made scones? You yes. Know? I have never made scones. Well, now you will. So easy. Yeah. I bake right. a lot, but no scones. This is awesome. This is going in the oven 16 to 18 minutes, right? And this is what it's going to look like when it's done. Let it cool for a minute. And look at these beautiful. Yeah. Kind of puffed up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's good, right? Yeah, it's it's fun. Pretty. So great. Remember, this dough can be frozen in that round for up to a month in the freezer. Pull it out, let it come to room temp, cut it, and bake it. It'll be just like new. Uh, now we are going to make our icing, my sparkling lemon icing, starting with some confectioner sugar and some lemon zest. Mm. And of course, since we already opened it, 
Do bubbles, it. Bubbles for days. So just add a little bit at a time. Yeah, it doesn't right? take much. It does not take much to kind of rehydrate that. It, you always think there's not enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then next thing you know, you have like... All of a sudden, You're playing yeah, the game of sauce. adding more sugar, yeah. right? Yeah. Do you ever do a pinch of salt in your um, confectioner shirt? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. No. <laughs> I just make this a lot when, you know, you make those pop tube biscuits yeah. and there's yeah. not enough glaze. I make, this all the time. I make glaze on the sides, so... So we are going to drizzle this out and let it sit, let that stuff kind of seize up and harden a little bit, but, I mean, you can eat this right now, right? Right. Out and then obviously this would need to be cooled in order to drizzle and not lose the I'm cold. surprised more people yeah. don't make scones because it's so much easier than the It's easier and forgiving. Easier than the you know? Easier than the biscuit. And who made that in four minutes? Oh, check. Okay. Oh! All right. So we're gonna... I would not want to clean up his kitchen. I don't want to clean this kitchen. So beautiful. Either. Look at that's all on the sheet, pan with the parchment. That's why you have Easy dogs, clean right? up, exactly. So now we got these done. You could see uh, the oh. icing is I'm just a little extra fresh Jeff, lemon you're zessa. So, gosh. I mean, this is. I mean, come on. Spending any time oh, no. with Martha Stewart? Give me a. Can we sell some of these at Pork and Mindy's? Well, I think we will. We're just going to have to put some bacon in it. Yeah, please. Uh. Pig candy in this would be great. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? It's Chopped up? We serious. put pig candy in milkshakes. Why stop it with yeah, the scone, you know? That? And look at now we got our, you know, who doesn't have a million cake tears, uh, you know? I do. I, I do. I have a cabinet full of cake tears. Yes, Jeff. Yes. There you go. Ah, that's good for you. Which one can I have? All right, hey, it's, it's your choice. Any one of them? I'm gonna... This is super zesty. Yeah, that is super zesty. You get that one, yeah, Sonny. Yeah, super, super zesty. And I Look will that. give my co-host. You guys want a fork for this, Jeff? Or you want some... Uh, I want a fork knife. Feels like a, a scone. Glass of Prosecco. And you know, lemon, bubbly lemon, it's like almost like, remind me of like strawberry sparkling lemonade or something like that. Which is... I mean, we knew. Um, can I get. <laughs> is that a good sign? I don't know. <laughs> so chewy, tender, not dry, mm -hmm. not rock hard like I was joking earlier. And I love the little hint of sweetness and tart from the strawberry. Your dough is perfect. The glaze comes through with a nice sweetness to go over the dough. Mm. Everything. I would totally want to dunk this into everything, but it goes great with Prosecco. Jeff. <laughs>